So the idea is that there is brutality at three levels. What is Ben Adam Lechavero brutality? Ben Adam Lechavero brutality means that if we relate to other people with an outlook that everything that happen, happens in the world is random, and when terrible things happen, they're random, that basically would create a certain dark world view where we don't believe that positive moral behavior leads to positive consequences and potentially less than moral behavior leads to negative consequences. Basically, our relationships with each other are uplifted by a worldview that recognizes that there is, in some fundamental way, God is actually um, a, basically supervising human existence in some principled um, um, way that we can't always understand or see. On the relationship to God level, of course, it's relatively obvious why that would be powerful to relate to God as being random. Basically, if we don't believe that God has any role in history, in our, collect, in our national history, in universal history, in our individual history, basically that means there is no real relationship because there's no response by Hashem to our behavior and vice versa. So clearly there, the Rambam may have chosen the term brutal to make that point. And finally, and I think this is the most original way of thinking about why the Rambam used that term, but I actually think it may be the most true, which is that what does it mean for us to relate to ourselves in a worldview where we think that things are ultimately random and fundamentally senseless and happenstance and chance? And basically what it means is that we're dehumanizing ourselves. Our view of ourselves is basically, it's almost our winning in in the sense of ultimately we're trying to survive. Things are random. There is no, there is no larger um, sort of ideal where Hashem is guiding us based on a principle and based on a covenant. And clearly that's not the Jewish view of our own lives, of our national life, and of human, li human history. So just to sum up, I think that the Tochecha has something to teach us even in normal times, let alone in times where we're challenged as a human race about relating to life in a non-indifferent way and not thinking of things as being entirely chance. And that's the message of B'chukotai, and that's the Rambam's message in his famous comment about Achzariyut, and hopefully for us to be able to relate to each other in a non-Achzari way. Shabbat Shalom, and uh, it's a real privilege to be able to share Torah with you. Thank you.